When I watched Encanto for the first time, I was fascinated with the movie and all the characters. But when I watched it for the second time, I discovered many references it contains, which today, I'm going to show you. Some of these references, winks and connections that Encanto has with other movies are from Frozen 2, Rapunzel, Alina of Avalor, and many more. I'll give you a little spoiler from the video. Mirabelle makes a huge tribute to Elsa and Rapunzel. If you want to know what it's about, don't leave the video because I'll show you that and way more. In the description of the video, there will be timestamps for each reference in case you want to see one of them first. If you like Encanto, leave the heart emoji. But if you didn't like it or haven't seen the movie, comment the sad emoji. This time, there won't be a guessing game. We've changed it for something more fun. I'm going to show you a scene that contains a reference to an animated series. The people who comment what's the reference will appear in the next video. In case you don't know the answer, don't worry. Somewhere in the video, I'll reveal it to you. One thing that the story of Encanto is based on are the magical doors that each member of the Madrigal family has access to. These magic doors are a big reference to the Pixar movie Monsters, Inc. In the city of Monsters, there are magic doors that work as a portal. Because of the character who enters one of these doors, it takes him to an unknown place. We have something similar in Encanto. When a relative of Madrigal turns 5 years old, the grandmother accompanies the character to a door where they get to know what kind of power they'll get. The moment a door opens, we get to see a place that's never been seen before. Such place can change depending on the power of the character. Isabel has a kind of power that makes her control flowers at will. Therefore, her room is a place full of beautiful roses. Antonio is another example. He can talk to animals. That's why his room retains a jungle-like appearance in which all his animal friends live with him. Now let's talk about a strong, brave princess. You can tell that Encanto's drama was highly inspired by the Pixar movie Brave. In Brave, we see that the redhead was a wild girl, so much that she wouldn't do princess stuff, and she defied her own mother's orders. This attitude led her to further ruin the poor relationship that the mother and daughter had. The only way to repair this rupture was to make amends with her mother by apologizing and showing her affection through a hug. We see this in the Colombian film. Mirabel was the family weirdo, since she did not inherit any magical powers. By virtue of this, she tried to be the best version of herself in search of her grandmother's approval. She spent so much effort that she found something that had been hidden for years. She found Bruna's prediction, which ended up destroying the magic house and taking away the powers of each family member. The way to solve everything would be talking about her feelings with her grandmother, something that would end in a hug and la abuela apologizing for the bad way she has treated Mirabel. We get to the part where I'm going to show you a scene with a big reference to a series. Watch it and comment what series we see it in. I'll give you a hint to make it easy. It's a famous yellow animated series. Pay attention to the scene and tell me. If you have seen the series of Alina of Avalor, the first Mexican princess, surely while enjoying Encanto, you had memories of her. Even though Colombia and Mexico are different countries in every aspect, Encanto shares a certain animation style with Alina, makes you think that it's an Alina of Avalor special. What stands out by far in the animation of both productions are the cheerful colors they contain. In both productions, the bright colors are the ones that stand out the most. Also, about four years ago, it was rumored that soon, we're going to have the first Latin princess that would have her own movie and beautiful songs. I believe that this Latin princess is Mirabel. But what do you think? Is Mirabel the first Latin princess? If you think she's a princess, comment the crown emoji. If you think she's not a princess, comment the X emoji. In the scene starring Bruno, we see something that stands out. Yes, he talks to mice! Apart from predicting the future of any character, he also has the ability to communicate with rodents. You could say that they are his best friends since mice are his entertainment and supposedly he does not leave that place and the mice also live there. I'm sure at this point you already know what the wink is all about. That's right, I'm talking about Alfredo Linguini from the Pixar movie Ratatouille. His best friend is the little chef. If it wasn't for him, he wouldn't have been so successful in the kitchen. The little chef has the ability to communicate with Alfredo, a fact that led them both to become best friends. 
the Magic House is a gigantic reference to the Rapunzel series. As the name itself says, the Magic House is a magical home. The magic of the house is used for good, helping with the household chores, making work easier for the Madrigal family. As it turns out, this house is not the only house of its kind in the world of Disney. In the series, we are privy to a similar place to the Magic House. Our beloved Rapunzel and her friends stay in a mysterious house for one night only. The owner of the house was an evil sorcerer. Basically, the house was bewitched and the magical powers of the property were used to give those who stayed overnight a hard time. Indeed, it happened with Raps. It was a night full of terror and magical stuff. This chapter ended up being one of the most important for the drama of the series, since Cassandra discovered through this haunted place who her mother was. The answer to the reference scene you guys were going to find is The Simpsons! In one episode, Ned Flanders loses his house to a tornado and the neighbors help organize and rebuild his house. It's a similar thing with Encanto, as the town helps rebuild the magic house. In the middle of the film, we witness Mirabel's desire to save the miracle that gave the Madrigal family their powers. She gets courageous and prepares to go to save the miracle. However, the Colombian girl did not know what to do or where to go to achieve her goal. This reminded me of when Mulan wanted to be a soldier to represent her father. The girl got ready and left the house, but further down the road, she felt lost, so she didn't know what to do. Luckily, she had Mushu, who helped her realize her purpose. The part where Mirabel sings Waiting on a Miracle contains a nod to the Frozen 2 and Tangled movies. During the performance of the melody, we hear and appreciate interesting things. When Mirabel was releasing her feelings through the song, we observe an animation quite similar to Tangled and Frozen. The aforementioned scene is seen with multiple glowing particles all over Mirabel's path. It's the same thing that we have in Tangled. Rapunzel and Eugene were on a boat and floating lanterns were falling from the sky, which illuminated the dark night. Overall, it's a scene with a lot of glowing particles. In Frozen 2, there's a similar scene. When the goddess Salsa sings into the unknown, multiple glowing particles appear, which would be crucial for Elsa and Anna's adventure. In short, all three scenes are full of glowing particles while singing. One character in Encanto that we don't know much about her backstory, but at first glance raises a lot of speculations, is La Tia Peppa. We only get to know that she's Mirabel's aunt and that she has a hard time controlling her storm power. This power is a reference to Raya. In this movie, has a peculiar funny dragoness. This mystical creature possesses powers from different species. Of all her magical abilities, let's talk about this one. Rain. Aunt Peppa and Sisu are owners of the same magical power. Both characters can make it rain or create big tropical storms. Well, that's as far as it goes. Greetings to the answers from the previous video. My name is Bella, and we'll hear from each other soon in another video. And bye!